we need to have more prayers for healing at our church. I was thinking about that when I was reading Luke chapter 10 and verse 9, where Jesus sends the 72, some manuscripts say 70 out, and he tells them to heal the sick and say the kingdom of God has come near. In chapter 9 and verse 1, when he sent the 12 out, he said the same thing. In chapter 4, it says that Jesus healed people everywhere in Galilee. And it says in chapter 5 that the power of the Lord was present for him to perform healing. It reminds me of how the book of James says, Call for the elders of the church and anoint the sick with oil in the name of the Lord that they might be delivered. Now, when we think about healing, we have to kind of put a couple of caveats in. Here's one. The Bible teaches we're dust and we go back to dust. That this body is not immortal. That there's going to be a time when this body breaks down. And from the fall, from Genesis, that's going to be the pattern of life. Here's the second thing. That we can't poison our body and ask God for healing. So if you have a regular diet of cheese fries with bacon bits five times a week, and you have health problems, don't complain to God. We can't poison our body and assume God will heal us. Here's a third caveat. There are times, there are times when God might discipline a person through illness. 1 Corinthians 11 teaches that, that some taking the Lord's Supper with sin in their lives have grown sick. Some even have died. Here's a fourth thing. Sometimes healing is not always immediately in God's will. In 2 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul had a thorn in the flesh. No one knows for sure what it was, but it says three times he sought God to deliver him, and God didn't. He said, my grace is sufficient. Trophimus, I left sick at Ephesus. Sometimes God's healing is delayed. But all that aside, Jesus healed. The disciples prayed for healing. The Old Testament taught in Isaiah 35, when the Messiah comes, there will be a great time of healing, chapter 35 of Isaiah, verses 5 and 6. And when he sends people out with the kingdom of God, he announces that they should also pray for healing. So keep your eyes open. Ask that the Lord give us insight and timing. And let's expect that in future months, we might have more times of prayer for healing like they did in the New Testament church, and, and we'll just see what God might do in our midst. This is your daily devotional for Saturday. I hope you're well. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. I pray that you read your Bible every day, and you seek the Lord every day, and pray for the church, and pray for me. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Pray that the harvest is plentiful and the workers are few, so pray that God bring laborers to work in the harvest and not God give us a harvest here in Modesto. God bless you as you serve him and God bless you as you stay faithful to his word.